I haven't seen my cat for a long time, guys. I don't know if he is still alive or if he still loves me. So I asked God. Then God gave me a sign. So what does this sign mean? Why do you show off your cat, God? I first met my cat. He was just a puppy. He likes to walk on your lap and suddenly collapse onto your lap and just lean on you, like completely soft. Completely dead, just like those ballet dancer, right? They make a turn and then slowly collapse to the floor in a very artistic way, and then just sleep there. It literally happened to me before. Like there was a girl who was like, she need drugs, right? She need math, but then I don't have math for her because I don't do drugs. Then she was like, I'm gonna take a nap here, right here. Water. I'm taking a nap. You wanna take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. It literally happened. I don't think the girls had had watched that clip before. I think she had w done way too many drugs to to even follow YouTube. She she just said, "Oh, I, I want to take a nap here on my floor." Yeah, I think. Have you seen anyone like that in real life? Like, have you? Do you ever know a girl who just can't even? Cause there were some point when some girls just can't even. Then. They said, "Oh, I have to take a nap right here," and collapsed and cry. Now my cats act like the king all the time in the house, so he was like the alpha. But it didn't count if he was the only male in the house and act like alpha. Everybody can do that. Maybe he was just a nerd in school. If he ever go to school and get bullied, so I always had my doubt. Then and one times our cat was lost. And someone told me that when your house cat went to the neighborhood, the wild cat would drove them away because cats were territorial. Then I was concerned. Uh, now, but now my cats had to face the test in real life. So we were looking for him for a week to no avail. However, people start circulating a legend. They said they saw a big, huge cat at night. This cat walks slowly, like chilled and everything, but there is a majestic way about him, like like it was a king of the of the hood, yeah. And people were terrorized because they said it was a big cat, like a huge cat. Like if I don't know my cat, I'll probably thought some tiger was escaping from the zoo. Now things didn't look good. Because there were like rainstorm, we were concerned that it might catch the flu, so we keep looking and looking, but to no avail. And then finally, we found him. Guess what? He was in the backyard of one of our neighbor. Guess what he was doing? He was sunbathing, probably from the rain、uh, from a few days ago, and he was just having fun. You no, know, all he needed. Was the cold beer and the popcorn and the bitches, yeah. When I took him, he was just talking to me, trying to explain why he was gone. Like he was too stressed out in a confined space for all his life. He needed some fresh air, just alpha boss stuff. Well, it doesn't look like he was hungry or thirsty or anything. He seems to be able to take care of himself, but how? Yeah, thinking of how. There were a few wild bunny in the neighborhood disappeared. Probably his handiwork. Maybe he stole some goldfish from some old guy in the hood. Also, luckily I found him in a week. Otherwise, it wouldn't just be bunny. Dogs would disappear. Raccoon would disappear. Other cat would disappear. Cause think of it, you know, my cat was the size of two human babies. If we leave it unchecked, who knows how big he would grow into and what kind of terror he would unleash to the world? Yeah, my cat would be the kind of cat that would become demonic cat even in after life, and continued its legend. So when I brought him home, my mom was yelling at him, and he talked back. Of course, yeah, that's just typical him, my typical cat. Let's give him a name. Maybe、uh, call him. Actually, he already had a name. His name was Thunder, but Thunder didn't sound boss enough because it doesn't do justice to his character as the alpha male, the godfather of all cat. 
Later on, my my mom gave him away to a cat lady because she was too ADD to take care of any pet, and I'm too ADD to take care of any pet also. So he left for a while, and sometimes I wonder if he loved me. Yeah, that's why in the beginning of this video, God gave me that sign which said nothing. Yeah, and then I、uh, went to visit him. I wonder if cat lady will. Play favoritism because she already had a cat, and we wonder if he was playing nice with other cat, and or if he was bullied finally by another larger cat. Then we, when we went to see him, turned out that he was still the boss that he was, terrorizing every other cat, and met. <laughs> he made Cat Lady his personal slave. This was what I saw. Okay, he went to his ball, and then he. Yeah, like meow meow, and then cat lady would goes to him and feed him with food, one little piece at a time, by hand. Cause now he's old now, right? He's too old to eat his own food. Still, the boss, the younger cat, was afraid of him, and so I tried to hug him, and he wouldn't let me. He was like, rrr, rrr, like showing her his teeth. So that answered my question. He never really loved me. And it was just a mask. I remember how he seduced me with all his pose, like belly up, so I would rub him and massage him. Now that I look back, he was just all a training to make me a masseuse for his personal selfish need and desires. Yeah. Well, like these videos, cause if you like it, I'll give you one of those cat that keep growing until it become legendary in the neighborhood. Patrolling the street, eating bunnies and your enemies. Yeah, if you like this video, this is what will happen. I was I will actually literally send a cat to your house, no charge. All right, see you next videos. Bye.